I just want to move on to sort of duality, um, especially with, with regards to masculine and feminine, because um, I think there's a, something missing is that there's both masculine and feminine within everyone. And it's just whatever levels and when it's uh, when each one's portrayed or when it's needed and all that sort of stuff. And like people are things getting confused, you know, and it's like venerating everything feminine, but um, everything masculine is toxic, but that's not true. And, you know, we know this, there's toxic feminine, there's toxic masculine, there's divine feminine, whatever masculine is good and bad and everything. So can you talk about sort of the yin and the yang, the duality of, um, of uh, the masculinity versus femininity? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Well, it's as a basic principle, it's just what defines this world. This is a world of duality, but it's not it's not us as an essence us as an essence is both and none of them <laughs> at the same time and so when we can enter into our own being or our own essence that's when we can find that place of non-duality but in the world that we operate in most of the time that's where this world of duality is and so that masculine and feminine principle is really just it's not a gender thing i, I guess most people probably know that but it's not male or female masculine and feminine is just an energy it's not and it's a it's a principle it, it receives or it gives or it's soft and it yields or it's strong or whatever like these are just qualities which can apply to men and women so as far as uh anything where there's a duality like that and an energy there's that creates a polarity and anytime there's a polarity it can be manipulated and so these polarities are heavily manipulated in the world that we live in. And hence, it can lead to things such as gender confusion because the duality has been twisted and manipulated to such a high degree. So really, to, to get back to that, it's, it requires a lot more introspection and self-learning and self-knowing because you need to, like, really, realistically, the indoctrination is part of the duality. So when that becomes unlearned and we start to get back to our true self then we start to get closer to that place of non-duality and that's where you know the that's where peace is that's where everybody that goes out conquering lands trying to find nirvana or utopia or whatever mm. they're actually trying to find it in themselves that's the that's the paradox of all the ancient texts of people trying to find these places it's that non place of non-duality which only exists within so is that what you were trying to was that what you were getting at or is there a different um, part of the question? Yeah, well, like, yeah, basically masculine does not mean male, feminine does not mean female sort of thing. Um, yeah. yeah. But basically, yeah, I think pretty much covered that. Yeah, basically it was how to get the balance and harmony, right, is what I was pretty much Yeah, right. Well, the yeah. balance and harmony is, again, it's going back to nature. It's like literally watching how nature operates and the more time you spend exposed to that, the better balance you'll be. Like, you can't be... I don't think you can honestly be vegan, for example, and be highly in touch with nature. You'd, you'd have to live in a city or something where you're disconnected from the source of things. Mm. And, uh, and same with like, you know, a lot of the gender confusion. I don't think that that can be there if you are highly attuned to nature and the natural world. It's, um, it just, it doesn't make sense. So mm. yeah, that's the answer to pretty much everything. If you want to, if you want to like, just run off 30 questions i'll just say yeah nature <laughs> That's yeah, well, my answer. Yeah, yeah pretty much 